happy morning children welcome to blue stars high secondary school online classes today your class is for english okay so before getting into the class let me give you the thought for the day let your unique awesomeness and positive energy inspire confidence in others wherever you go no matter what the weather always bring your own sunshine which means every one of you is unique each of you have your own good qualities and positive energy understood you should be in such a way that your positive energy should inspire others okay they should feel very confident on seeing you so wherever you go okay whatever the situation may be always be positive and shine like a sun okay children so let's get into the lesson today we are going to see unit 3 supplementary reader the story of mulan okay this story of mulan let's see what's the story line says this is a classic story of mulan based on the legend of hua mulan okay it's a chinese story or oh, it's a legend what do you mean by legend um the stories which was told by our grandmother and great grandmother okay we believe that the stories are true we don't know whether it happened or not isn't it but we believe those stories are true so it's a legend understood a legend is a story from long ago that is believed to be true or mostly true okay all the chinese people believed that this hua mulan story happened okay it was a classic story which was told by the ancestors for many years understood and now let in gets into the story so uh, as you know it's a chinese story so this is happening in china understood many many years ago long years ago china was in the middle of a great war okay so a, a big war was happening in china so what the emperor said who is the emperor emperor is the king isn't it the one who is ruling the country understood so the emperor of china said one man okay one man from each chinese family they have to leave their family and join the army for fighting for the nation why they have to fight because the war was going on in china so they want one man from each family to come and join the army okay they have to leave the family and come and join the army this was the order given by the emperor of china okay what was the emperor's order the emperor orders was one man from each chinese family must leave his family to join the army understood yes now mulan who was a teenage girl what's a teenage girl maybe around from this 13 to 19 years of age we say as teenage isn't it so mulan was a girl of teenage she was living in china okay a, a village in china okay and uh, this girl was washing the clothes outside and she was hearing this news was what news she hears she hears the news that the emperor has told one man from each chinese family should join the army okay on hearing this news immediately mulan ran into her house okay so mulan and uh, her father and the younger brother was living in the house so her father was sitting in a chair okay he was just carving a piece of wood what is meant by carving uh, you people used to carve in the tree and all no you write your name using sharp objects isn't it even in the desk you used to carve your names isn't it so you can just say as engraving or etching also it's other name for carving understood so her father was sitting in a chair carving a piece of wood 
okay the father was sitting in a chair he was just uh, just uh, like engraving a piece of wood with some sharp object so mulan said father did you hear the emperor what the emperor says each family must do now mulan is asking her father what is she asking uh, father did you hear that news what was the news about one person should join the army from each chinese family isn't it yeah so mulan is asking her father did you hear it father says yes said the old father okay now just imagine in this family only the old father is there mulan is there and the younger brother is there so the emperor has ordered that one person from each family should join the army now tell me who will join the army from this and there is a chinese tradition that women cannot go out of the family okay a woman is always confined to the family and now in this the father is the only male who can fight the battle isn't it so now the father says yes said her old father i heard about it in town the father says when i was when i went to the town i heard about this news and he uh, and he says okay now it's time for me to go and pack up my things so understood so now the father is getting ready to go and join the army just listen here yes said her old father i heard about it in town well i may as well go pack up okay so why is he packing up he is just getting ready to join the army he put down his craving stood up and walked very slowly to his room okay he was just craving he was just doing some carving work with his uh, with some wood pieces isn't it he just put it down he stood up and he was just walking slowly to the room to pack up his things when he was just moving slowly mulan said wait father you have not been well if i may say so why at your age must you keep up with all those young men okay now what mulan is asking mulan is say, mulan is saying that daddy you are all, you are already old okay all the young men will be fighting for china in the battle in the war what will you do among those young men okay and you are all you are already old okay you are old enough you cannot go and join the army so mulan was asking his father and the father said what else can be done said her father okay so the father is helpless the father says nothing i can do because one man has to go from each family so that should be me so uh, the father says i cannot do anything else so i your your brother is a child so he cannot go understood so what the father says since your brother is a child he cannot go so what else can be done only i have to go the father says of course that's true said mulan he is too little but i have an idea she poured her father a cup of tea and handed it to him father have some tea please sit for a minute i will be right back very well dear said the father now what happened the father says i have to go because the brother is very young so he cannot go to the battle okay he cannot go and join the army mulan says you are right father but i have an idea saying so she just poured poured a cup of tea for his father okay and uh, just ask his father to have some tea and wait for some time and mulan just went into the room and asked his father to wait for some time the father was waiting for what is going to happen let's see what happens next and just see here mulen went to went into her room with her sword he cut off her long black hair she puts on her father's robe 
what is robe the long outer dress you would have seen right the chinese used to wear going back to her father mulen said look at me i am your son now i will go in your place i will do my part for china okay so now mulen asked his father to wait for some time she gave his uh, her father a cup of tea and uh, told him to wait for some time isn't it after that mulen went into her room okay so what she did with the sword you can just see the sword here okay what is this sword with the sword he just cut off his hair why he cut off his long black hair yeah just to I mean make his appearance make us look like a man okay make a, so that's why she just cut off her long black hair after that she wore her father's dress okay then she came back to her father and said see father now i am not your daughter but who is she she says that i am your son now in your place i will go to the chinese army and i will fight for china understood the daughter was saying to the father so will any father accept it no isn't it so immediately the father said no my daughter said the old man you cannot do this but mulan was not ready to accept this father listen please said mulan for years you trained me in kung fu what is kung fu it's a martial art in china isn't it you showed me how to use a sword mulan swung swung means just to move the sword it is the past participle form of swing isn't it so swing it's a past participle form of swings how you pronounce this swung mulan swung the sword swung means just moving it back and forth understood just uh, like uh, in the air moving it back and forth so mulan swung the sword back and forth with the might might means the great power understood she just uh, swung the sword back and forth with might just to show her father that she is capable of joining the army okay so what she says she is trying to convince her father because though i though she is a daughter she says i will do my part as a son because the father has trained the daughter in kung fu and he has also taught him how to use the sword so that is why mulan is very confident to join the army understood now and now the father is finally convinced and uh, he says only so that you could stay safe said her father i never meant for you to go to war if they find out you are a woman you know as well as i do that you will die understood so what uh, the father is telling okay so i agree with what you are telling you are telling me that you can handle and you can be safe okay and father says until you are safe if you are if you give me the confidence that you can stay safe i will agree for this okay but the father says even though i am not happy to send you for the war because if the person if the i mean the soldiers if they find out that you are a woman they will you will be they will kill you you will die and as well as i will die okay the father says and mulan was very strong and she says don't worry daddy no one will find out okay no one will find out father said mulan so after saying that she picked up her sword mulan said the father he tried to get up but had to hold on to his chair the daughter kissed him goodbye i love you father she said take care of yourself 
Tell my little brother I said goodbye. She climbed on a family horse and off she went to join the emperor's army. So what happens here? After she convinced, okay, after she convinced her father, the father was sitting in the chair and she and he was just talking to Mulan. He was about to get up from his chair, but Mulan just made him to sit in the chair again and he just kissed his father and said, Goodbye, father. I will take care of myself. You take care of yourself and our brother. Understood? And uh, just in, tell my brother that I say goodbye to him also. After saying that, she just climbed on, her, on the family horse and she just started to join the emperor's army, to the king's army. Understood? Now, let's see what happened after she joined the army. In the army, Mulan proved to be a brave soldier. She was a very brave soldier. Okay, she was in the attire of a man. Okay, she was just wearing the dress of a man. So she just uh, did not reveal that she is a lady. So in the army, Mulan proved to be a brave soldier. In time, she was put in charge of other soldiers. Okay, her battles went so well that she was put in charge of more soldiers, which means she was just exhibiting her excellent talent in fighting in the battle. That is why she was put in charge of more soldiers. Okay, battles means fights. Understood? Which was lasting for a long time. So her battles kept on going well. So whenever uh, Mulan was just uh, like uh, leading the battle, the battle used to be always a success for them. So after a few years, Mulan was given the top job. Like she was the general for the entire army. Okay, so initially she was put in charge of some other soldiers. Then more soldiers were uh, put in charge under Mulan. Then she was the general, okay, for the entire army. She was the general for the entire Chinese army. Understood? Not long after that, a very bad fever swept through the army. So when, um, the, when all the battles were going very well, all the fights were going very well, so suddenly a bad fever was uh, affecting all the soldiers. Okay, many soldiers were sick in the army and uh, Mulan was one of them, understood? And Mulan, the general of the army, became sick too. So what happened? Usually the soldiers, when they go for a fight, they used to make tents, isn't it? They used to just make tent and they used to stay at nights. So all the soldiers were just staying in the tent. Understood? So what happened? Like uh, uh, a doctor came just to make a checkup of the sick soldiers. And uh, she just, the doctor just went to check Mullen's, Mullen also. Okay, when the doctor came out of Mullen's tent, what happened? What do you think? Yeah, she, the doctor know that Mullen is not a boy, but she is a girl. Okay, he knew the truth now. Just imagine the situation of Mullen because she was the general of the entire army and now the men, the soldiers came to know that she is not a man, but she is a woman. So what others will think? Generally, men will not, does not like to work under a woman, isn't it? And in those days especially. Let's see here. The general is a woman, yelled the soldiers, which means the soldiers are shouting. Understood? How can this be? How can this be? Some called out. Okay, they are just shouting. Okay, this cannot be happening. Okay, because we cannot work under a woman. 
she tricked us trick means she has cheated us she deceived us and we will not fight for a woman they said and immediately they started no because she has cheated us uh, mulan has to be punished they ha she has to pay for this she has to die okay so we have to punish her that is the voice of many of the soldiers so see here the general is a woman yelled the soldiers how can this be some called out she tricked us and we will not fight for a woman they said punish her make her pay the cost for her is to die okay but others called out in voices just as loud but there are some good ones also isn't it and they want to save mulan because they know how much effort mulan has put for this army so they said with mulan we win every battle they said so they want to save mulan from the other soldiers who are just against mulan now and these soldiers said stay away from our general just then when the these uh, two we can just say two groups of soldiers were fighting one is against mulan one is trying to save mulan wherein at this time mulan was inside her tent she was just listening to all this conversation which is going on out okay so when it was going on just then a soldier ran up so a soldier was coming okay she was here yeah, the soldier was just running towards this group they said everyone he called a surprise attack is coming so what the soldier says yeah some army is coming for a surprise attack understood now see what happened next mulan heard this from inside her tent okay so mulan heard this from inside her tent she got dressed she got dressed and went outside you can just see here so immediately she heard that an enemy attack is approaching she got dressed and went outside she was not yet strong why she was not yet strong because she is sick with fever understood so she was not yet strong but stood tall but stood powerful okay so she told the soldiers she was just giving them all the hints where to go and hide how to attack the enemy all the hints of the like the war the battle okay how to attack the enemy all these things she was just uh, guiding the army understood so see here mulan heard this from inside her tent she got dressed and went outside she was not yet strong but stood tall she told the soldiers where they must go to hide hide means going and yeah hiding somewhere you used to play hide and seek isn't it yeah go to hide so they could attack when the enemy came okay because the enemy thought maybe this mulan and the group may not know about their attack so but mulan was very much clever and she was just giving them where to hide and when to attack the enemy but they must got there fast the soldiers he even those who did not like that their general was a woman could tell that mulan knew what she was talking about okay so because previously when they came to know that mulan was a lady some soldiers were just against her because they said that they could not work under a woman even those soldiers are ready to accept whatever command is given by mulan because they know mulan is capable of handling this situation understood so everybody started to follow the order which was given by mulan and finally it worked okay the battle was won okay so they won the battle it was such a big victory what is my victory victory means success 
it was such a big victory which is such a big victory the battle the surprise battle the enemy came no for attacking it was such a big victory that the enemy gave up at last finally the enemy surrendered okay they just went back the war was over and china was saved because of whom china was saved because of mulen understood you can be sure that after that last battle no one cared any more that mulen was a woman why because she was the reason for the winning of that battle so after that battle on seeing her talent no one cared whether she is a woman or not we don't care about it but we are very much uh, like um, happy to work in her in charge okay now see the emperor was glad that mulen had ended the long war he set aside the rule about being a woman okay now after seeing that the that mulen mulen has uh, so much mulen is so much powerful and she is very good in handling the situations and tackling the problems the emperor was so happy glad means happy okay the emperor was so happy that the long war has ended and finally he just set aside the rule about being a woman understood mulen stay with me in the palace he said because usually men used to be in the palace as an advisor of king isn't it and now the king just say in spite of her being a woman the king says someone as smart as you would be a fine royal advisor understood so he wants mulen to be a royal advisor royal advisor means the one who will be in the king's court isn't it guiding the king when uh, during the difficult situation they will be like guiding the king isn't it so the king wants the emperor wants mulen to be the royal advisor and the mulen let's see what mulen's answer for that mulen bow bow means bending as a sign of respect okay so uh, mulen just bowed he just bent as a sign of respect and he said you are too kind sire sire is a like a, a more respectful way of addressing a king okay you are too kind sire she said but if you please what i wish most of all is to return home to my family but what she want she does not want to stay in the emperor's court she want to go back to her family then the emperor said then at least take these fine gifts said the emperor so everyone at your home and village will know how much the emperor of china thinks of you so finally the emperor also allowed mulen to go back to her home with a handful of gift so that the people at the village knows that she has been a she has a important place in the emperor's court mulen returned to her village with six fine horses and six fine swords everyone cheered once she just came to her village everyone cheered cheered means shout in joy that she was safe after winning so many battles she came back home safely so everyone was very happy for that the person who had saved china was their very own mulen okay this is also one of the story which shows the woman empowerment so message of mulen story what do you learn from this story mulen demonstrates the positive aspects of never giving up importance of hard work and not being restricted to gender roles okay 
and the importance of family and honor. Now, assignment time for you children. Just learn this passage, okay, the paragraph. Sketch the character of Mulan. This is about the story of Mulan. Learn this and write it once in your assignment note. Thank you children. Have a blessed day.